just want to thank God for this moment, for yet another day. Amen. For his love towards us. Amen. Praise God. And we are in self-love today. We're going to ask sight and sound. Amen. Will they please load the slides for us? In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <clears throat> we just want to thank God. Amen. Praise God. That not only have God taught us how to love one another, but he's also taught us how we must love ourselves. And today, amen, our topic is self-love. And as you can see from the slides, it says your relationship with yourself sets the tone for every other relationship you have. Amen, praise God. It's a sad thing if you don't have a relationship with yourself. Amen. Could you go to the next slide, please? Thank you. Love you. Do I have anybody in here that loves themselves? Amen. Well, we're on the right track. We're on the right track. Amen. To love you, you got to respect yourself and don't let anybody put you down. You have to take care of yourself. You have to pamper yourself. Come on, saints, pat your own self on the back. Don't wait for somebody to validate you. Validate your own self. Amen. Every now and again, treat yourself. Amen. Take your own self out to dinner. Anybody ever done that? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Treat yourself. Take your own self out. Amen. Buy clothes that flatters you. Clothes that you like. Not to impress other people or to make them like you because of how you dress. Please yourself. You know when you put something on if it's uncomfortable. Amen. The Holy Ghost lets you know, uh-uh, that's not you. Amen. Praise God. But you can't be like everybody. Be like yourself. Amen. Tell yourself, man, you look good. Can I, man, just tell yourself right now, man, I look good. And to our women, girl, I look real good. Why I say real good for us? Amen. Praise God. Because when we look real good, the men's eyes turn. Hallelujah. Tell yourself also that you're good enough. No matter what anybody says, you are good enough. Why? That's who God made you to be. And if you're good enough for God, you're good enough for yourself, and you're good enough for everybody else. Amen. Praise God. And you got to love God. When you love God, you can love your neighbor, and, and you can love yourself. Love begins with God. Amen. Praise God. And the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. And the scripture I have for that is Ephesians 5:29. It says, for no man ever yet hateth his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it even as the Lord, the church. Amen. Praise God. Can you wrap your arms around you right now? And you. Don't that feel good? Don't that feel good? Amen. Praise God. The next slide is take the trash out. It's trash day. Amen. Praise God. And we are presented in front of you a trash can. Amen. Hallelujah. Anytime you feel that there's something you need to put in the trash can, feel free to come up and dump it in the trash because we're not going to allow you to take it back out. We're going to take the trash out. Amen. Praise God. So if it's injuring you, if it's bothering you, amen, negative things that's been said over your life, put it in the trash because it's not so. I declare today trash day. Amen. Praise God. Because I'm loving me. Hallelujah. Because I'm loving me, it's going out. Amen. Now look at yourselves and stop criticizing the things you don't like about you. God loves you just the way you are. Stop feeling intimidated. Now if you feel that way, come put it in the trash. Stop feeling uncomfortable in your own space. A lot of times we move out the way 
to make other people occupy the spots where we're supposed to occupy. Amen, praise God. So what if you don't have long hair or short hair or you're fat or you're skinny or you're black, white, or brown? You are who God made you to be. Amen, praise God. Amen. I like my figure none eight. I like my non Coca Cola Bible shape. And I can use it as long as you don't abuse it. Amen. Do I have anybody else? Stand up right now if you feel that way. Come on now. Hallelujah. You like your shape. You like who you are. Amen, praise. You like what God has given you. Hallelujah. Show it. Flaunt it. Hallelujah. Let the enemy know I got it going on. I got it going on. I'm me and all me. And nobody else can be me but me. Love yourself. Love yourself. You don't love you, nobody else is going to love you. Glory to God. Love who you are. Whether your eyes are crooked, whether your nose or your lips are too big, your nose or your lips are too skinny, again, you are who God made you. Amen. I love my big juicy lips. Amen. And for those with skinny lips, I have to look hard to see if you have lips. But I thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. When I stick them out, you know they belong to me. Hallelujah. Get rid of people's perception of you. Negativity will bring you down. If you're being abandoned, rejected, these are all the twos of life that comes to make you strong. God uses bad things to bring out good things in us. The word of God lets us know that all things work together for good. So turn your disappointments inside out. Amen. I don't see nobody dumping anything in the trash can. It's still here. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Get rid of it. Hallelujah. All right. What triggers your anger? What triggers your anger? Get rid of it. Hallelujah. It doesn't make you look good. It don't look good on you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now you got to swallow some things. All right. She's shaking it all out. Hallelujah. You got to swallow your pride. You got to swallow your ego. You got to swallow your selfishness. You got to swallow negativity. Swallow hate. Get rid of red eye. Amen. Praise God. What does that mean? Envy and jealousy. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You don't know what I had to go through to get where I am. You don't know what I had to go through to get what I have. And you wouldn't want to go through what I went through to be where I am. We all have a cross to bear. Amen. Praise. Bear yours and stop looking at mine. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Have we dumped everything in the trash? We're not leaving it here. Deacon Mike, can you take the trash out, please? Hallelujah. If you want to throw it from your seat, throw it now. Hallelujah. He'll catch it. He'll catch it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Truly, God is good. It's time to take a cruise. Anybody ever been on a cruise? Amen. Do you all like it? Amen. Praise God. Well, this is a different kind of cruise. Amen. Take yourself on a cruise today. What are we cruising? We're cruising through your troubles. We're cruising through your disappointments. We're cruising through the rejections. We're cruising through the anger. We're cruising through the pain. We're cruising through the hurt. 
We're cruising through the anxiety. We're cruising through your depression. We're going to wash away those sorrows. You have to reserve your own life boat and swap, amen, and wrap yourself up in your own safety vest. Amen. There's things you got to do for yourself. Stop depending on other people to do it for you. Amen. Praise God. They have their own troubles. Amen. They don't need you to be dumping on them. Take care of yourself. Amen. All these things, yes, they come to test us. They come to try us. Amen. Praise God. There will be disappointments. Cruise through it. There will be rejections. Accept it. There will be troubles. It's a test. Hallelujah. You will get angry, but don't let the sun go down on your wrath. You will feel pain. It will make you know that you're not paralyzed, and it will also make you know that you're still alive. A dead man don't feel no pain. Anxiety will creep in. Hallelujah. But we can get through it. Wash away those sorrows, saints. Now I want to encourage you to pack your own survival kit. Throw out the band-aids and get yourself a tunicate to stop the bleeding. Some of us have bled too long in areas that you don't need to bleed anymore. So what if he left you? God is still with you. So what if you went bankrupt? God can bring you back. There is nothing too hard for our God to do. All we got to do is trust in him, believe in him, and know, amen, that you're still standing. If I have anybody that's gone through anything in life and you're still standing, can you stand now in the face of the enemy and let him know that you are a survivor? That you have survived everything? that he's thrown at you and you are still surviving and I'm cruising through my sorrows. I'm cruising through my pain. Hallelujah. I'm getting over it because when I get off of this cruise ship, he can say, well done. Well done, my good and faithful servant. First Corinthians 6, 19 says, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. Amen. God will take care of you. My next advice in self-love is to take care of your body. Take care of your body. When you don't take care of your body, you're at risk of death, heart attack, and high blood pressure. Get routine doctors and dental checkups. Now let me speak to our brothers for a moment. Amen. The hardest thing I found in life is to get a man to go to the doctors. Why that is, I have no idea. You get sick just like us. You're quick to tell us to go to the doctors. Amen. But you keep on telling us, I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be all right. But I encourage each and every one of you, get a routine checkup. Hallelujah. I share this with you. One year, I was cancer-free. The next year, I went for a routine checkup, and I had breast cancer. Amen. Praise God. If I'd left it for years and years, I wouldn't be standing in front of you today. So get a routine checkup. Amen. Praise God. Eat healthy. Amen. Praise God. Put away all those potato chips. Amen, all those sugary stuff. Amen, you eat way too much candy. Replace it with some fruits. Amen, pray. Be Bugs Bunny. Eat a carrot every day. Glory to God, hallelujah. They say apple a day keeps who away? But I'm still encouraging you to go see him at least once a year. Amen, praise God. Laugh with yourself. Come on, can you give me a hearty laugh? Oh, better, do better than that. Come on, laugh. Hallelujah. You want me to tell you a joke so you can laugh? It's not going to happen because this is about you. Laugh 
with yourself. Amen. Think about something funny you did. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And sometimes we can get hysterically laughing. Amen. On rainy days in your life, think of some good things that have taken place and smile in the midst of your storm. Amen. This is taking care of your body. It's not sending up your blood pressure. Amen. Praise God. But it's making you feel good. Don't be mad if people are talking about you. Turn it inside out and say at least somebody remembers me. Restore your self-confidence. Amen. Because all of this causes strength. Causes stress. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You've been bleeding from your eyes. Crying. Did I hear somebody say that? They cried all night. Amen. Praise God. God knew. Amen. That this would be your healing moment. Amen. You've been bleeding from your eyes. You've been bleeding from your heart. Your emotions are bleeding. Amen. Praise God. It's time for you to take introspect of your own self. What is causing me all this pain? Is it something that I could just give it to God and leave? A lot of times we pray and we give things to God, but then we pick it up. Amen. Day one, it's okay. Day two, it's okay. But by the time we get to the end of the week and God has not done anything about what we prayed about, we pick it back up. Amen. Praise God and make our own self sick. You got to learn how to wait on God. The Bible says, wait upon the Lord and be of good courage. Amen. And he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, upon the Lord. That's our problems. We don't have time to wait. God has all the time in the world. So when you don't wait, God puts you on the back burner and make you learn how to wait on him. Because God does not give anything prematurely because he knows you can't handle it. Know yourself. Psalms 139, 13 through 15 says, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm what? Fearfully and wonderfully made. That's what God did for you and for me. He says, your works, my God, are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I love me. I love me. Tell yourself, I am amazing. Can I hear you say that? Can you say it again? One more time. Tell yourself, I know I have faults, but who doesn't? Stop trying to blend in with the crowd. Big mistake. Big mistake. Be unique because you are. Amen. There is no duplicate of you. Even if you're a twin, there is some difference. Hallelujah. Tell yourself how pretty you are. Amen. At this time, amen, can you take your cell phones out? Amen. You know what? I've never taken a selfie in my life. And last night, I'm running around asking my kids, do you have a mirror? Amen. And they said, you can take a picture on your phone. It's called a selfie. Well, I've heard about a selfie, but I've never taken one. Amen. Praise God. So at this time, amen, take a selfie. Look at yourself. All right? Now take that selfie. I'm so glad they told me this. I'm so glad that they told me this. Amen. Praise God. Now look at that picture you took of yourself. That, Bishop, you're incognito. Without the glasses. Amen. All right. Now, this is the real you, all right? Take a look at the real you. 
I'm looking at myself, and I've always tried to get rid of my gray eyebrows. But right now, this is showing me those gray eyebrows. Amen. And I've got to be satisfied with my gray eyebrows because this is the real me. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look at this picture all week. Amen. Stop criticizing. Stop finding faults. Amen. That is the real you. Tell yourself I'm gorgeous. Lord, I'm good looking. Lord, I'm all that and a bag of chips. Self-affirmation. That's what a spiritual selfie is. All right, all right, all right. Put those cameras down. You looked in long enough. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, yes, Lord. Make a difference. Leave some good footprints in the sand of life. Amen. And this is what you do when you love yourself. People will remember you for all the good that you've done. Hallelujah. For how you make them feel when your presence come into a room. Amen. Praise God. When they talk about you, they feel good. Amen. You should feel the same way about yourself. Hallelujah. Before you go to bed, say, Lord, I am so grateful that you made me who I am. And I'm satisfied with who I am in Christ Jesus. That is showing gratefulness. That is showing gratefulness. See the blessings that God has given you. Just look around and see. Glory to God. Just look around and see how blessed you are. How blessed you are. Hallelujah. You may not be as blessed as your neighbor, but you are blessed. Thank God for your blessings. Work on you and, down, and don't allow people to work your nerves and bring you down. Sometimes in life, you must let go. Amen. Forget about some people and celebrate your own self. Have you ever thrown yourself a party? Have you ever turned on the music in your house and it's just you and you're just dancing? You're throwing your own party. Amen. Praise God. You're singing. Amen. Praise God. You're doing all the things that makes you feel good. Amen. You made yourself a nice dinner. Amen. Praise God. And you're happy. This is what you got to tell yourself and show yourself how you love you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't let people make you unhappy and the things they say about you haunt you. Amen. I'm going to ask Side and Sound not to put up the last slide as, as yet. Amen. But don't let people take you for granted. Don't let people take you for granted. Amen. 1 Corinthians 6.20 says, For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which is of God. My last slide is, I love me. Amen. And I want you to turn to your neighbors now and say, I don't mean to brag. I don't mean to boast. I love you all. But I love me the most. Side and sound. Put up that slide in Jesus' name. in Jesus' name.